Hey everyone, welcome to another Tuesday Tech Tip here at 45 Drives, Brad here. And uh, this week we're talking about safe handling techniques when it comes to hard drives. Um, this video was brought by us and by our industry partner, our friends uh, from HD Store. Uh, we've been working with HD Store for years and actually Alan Nagel, uh, their Director of Engineering, uh, joined us for our Creator Summit not long ago. Anyway. All these safe handling tips are Alan's tips, they're HD Store's tips, and uh, we just want to show you how to treat these wonderful electromechanical devices um, with the care that they deserve. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so before we dive into the tips, who's this video for? Well, it's for anyone who handles a hard drive, really. But specifically, it's for 45 Drives customers, people who buy drives from us and by extension, HD Store. So let's paint a little picture here. You buy a storage server from us and you buy a bunch of drives too. So what happens? Um, well, in a very short turnaround time, you get a nice server sitting on your loading dock and you get a couple boxes that look like this. This is what your hard drives will come in. Um, now, I hope this looks good on the frame, but uh, let's turn it like this. So the hair drives will come in this nice protective cardboard boxing and a kind of foam carrying case for all the drives. Uh, typically, you'll see no more than 20. Actually, you will never see more than 20 in a box. And in our case here, we have two. But typically, you'd see this all filled up in the nice foam protection. And all the drives would be sealed in an anti-static bag. So I'll take these ones out here. And uh, for the sake of space, let's move this box out of here. So I bought two hard drives. I wanna keep these things safe. What do I do now? All right, so the most kind of sensitive time for these drives will be when you take them out of their packaging and prep them for putting into the chassis. Once they're into the chassis, they're pretty safe. They're living there. They're, they're running. They're living their, they're living their lives that they're supposed to be living, spinning and writing and reading data, right? When they're in their boxes, they're safe and contained in there too. It's that exciting period when you rip them out of the box and before you put them in the chassis. Usually, and specifically for 45 Drives customers, you probably have a lot of drives. So in your eagerness, you want to move a bunch of them and go really fast and, and get all that done. We don't have any caddies, so we make it really easy for you. And you you just want to speed run those drives into the chassis. This is where I have to caution you. Slow down. Because this is the most sensitive time for those hard drives. So we'll start with tip number one. You really have to avoid um, high frequency impacts. And what I mean by high frequency, I don't mean the speed at which you hit them, like bum, 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 bum. I mean like the vibration, the the uh, the mechanical force that comes in, the high frequency of, of two massive uh, aluminum chassis like this smashing in together because don't worry both these drives are dead so any illustrative things I do here you don't have to <gasps> shock and awe yourself um, and we and we're we're a, we're a non-biased fair place so I have a dead Western Digital and a dead Seagate but one thing and I have been guilty of this myself is avoid the high frequency impacts don't do this this or you grab a couple of them and you pick them up like that that'll kill them What's going on with that is when they're in resting mode, they're, they're, um, the head, the arm that does the <laughs> that's what hard drives do in there, um, it sits on this little bed. And when you give it a good hard shot like that, that's enough to kind of jump it off. That can damage the head, that can do all kinds of gross stuff. And then you pretty much can end up with DOAs and all kinds of uh, nasty things like that. So avoid your instinct to rip a bunch out of the bag and then go boom, 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 pick them up and go. Don't do this, don't clip them like this, don't clap your drives together. Tip number one. Tip number two, this goes for almost all electronics, electrostatic discharge, ESD. Be careful with it. Uh, for those who aren't aware, uh, you know, and if you build a static up and you touch a metal door handle and you get that little shock, that's ESD. If you touch sensitive electronics when you have static built up on your body, it can damage them. It can really, really damage them because it's a lot of energy discharged really fast through something that wasn't designed to do that. So, like any piece of electronics, hard drives can be sensitive of that too. So, don't shuffle your feet and then go pick up a bunch of hard drives. Try to avoid that. 
The best practice would be slap an ESD bracelet on, work on an ESD mat, but most people don't have that available to them. Now, if you're in a lab setting or everything you do, but in the data center floor, wherever you're working, um, anywhere, usually don't have that. So you don't necessarily need an ESD mat. You definitely don't want to shuffle your feet and go touching pins. Um, so quick little thing to make sure you're not have static, touch a metal frame, just touch something. If, if you get a shock, good, you discharged it. If you don't get a shock, great, you're probably fine. You pick the drives up on its edges and you're gonna survive. The other key piece of that, don't touch the pins. Again, I'm gonna do it because these drives are dead and I don't care right now, but like this is what I mean by the pins. This is where like all this chassis and stuff is grounded. You're, you're usually fine if you touch something, even if you had a little bit of a discharge or static built up, but just try to never touch the pins and usually you'll be fine. Okay, third tip, um, avoid aggressive handling. This kind of wraps all of them into one. Um, and what I say by aggressive handling is don't go like squeezing on the PCBs or like tossing it around like this or, or looking for a shake and giving it a good shot like that. Like just treat these things like care. Um, one of the tips we got from our friends at HD store, one of the great presentations they gave us was kind of treat a hard drive like a glass of wine. You know what I mean? And she sloshes around like, be careful. Be, be gentle with it. Be, uh, be graceful, if you will. Um, don't do what I've been doing in this video. It's funny, a little ironic. I'm here for a hard drive safety video and I'm over here juggling these things. But it's illustrative. These are the things you don't do. Listen to my words, don't follow my actions. And I'll, our last tip kind of summarizes everything really, if you will. Um, when you're picking the hard drives up, always hold them on their edges. Don't rip them about their axes. Hold them pretty steady. If you are gonna turn them, turn them slowly so it's not a big like jerk on an axis like that. Uh, try to hold them always so they're circuit side down or, or, or right in that axis there, not face side down. With that too, when you place them down, place them PCB side down. Don't place them this way. Um, reason for that is the, the, head, the spindle is here, the head is here. When you put it this way, everything kind of sits where it's supposed to. When you put it this way, the thing's just dangling there like a, le like a leg off the side of a bed. Um, you never know what's gonna get you. Um, and um, that's it, that's it. Treat your drives like care. And you know what I will end on though? Um, hard drives, we go through a lot of them. We see a lot of them. We buy a lot of them and we, Take them for granted. We love spinning, or we love fast flash drives and everything like that, but we gotta still give some love to the wonderful tools that are the electromechanical drives, the hard drives. These things have some crazy, crazy physics going in on inside of them, and it's amazing how well they work. And let's help them work longer by treating them right. So, love your hard drives.